Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Annie and I want to say a special welcome to all of my new subscribers. All right, so today we have another rescue box from ThreadUp. This is the 15 pair mixed shoe box. This box was $80. I had a $40 credit and thank you for whoever you are who signed up using my link. And it was... $9.99 shipping and handling, $6.07 tax. So all together I paid $56.06. So it comes out to be about $3.73 a pair per pair. And that's if, of course, if I, all the shoes are sellable, if I keep all of them, you know how that goes. Okay, so let's get into it. And yes, this came from Arizona. I don't know if you guys have seen Suzanne at the Pet of Flips. She got several boxes from, shoe boxes from Arizona, and they were not too good, but that's just how it goes with these boxes. Some are good, some are bad. But, um, let's see. We are going to remain hopeful. My favorite place to get shoes from is Georgia, and I used to always get them you know, majority of them from Georgia, but lately I haven't gotten any, so I don't know if they're just slow on stock or, you know, who knows. But cross some fingers. Okay, so, wow, these are some cute little shoes. Look at here. What in the world? These are perfect for spring. Look at that. Size 43, of course I do not see a name, but those are something. Look at that heel. Kind of has like lace detail. Hmm. They are size 43, but those are something. They're different. I kind of like them. Want to make a statement? But again, there is no name, so I will do a Google image search on those. Okay, we have a pair of New Balance. And these appear to be in okay shape. I wouldn't say great shape. They just really need cleaning. And these are a size, let's see, size eight. But you can still see on the inside the name, polka dot. They're not bad. Like I said, they just need some cleaning. That's it, the soles and everything appear to be in really good shape. All right, next we have it's it's ah uh, Roman numerals set twenty one it's it's ah uh, and these are really you know I probably won't even sell these okay Zara basic. These tend to be in pretty good shape, so I will list those. Zara, Zara, however you want to pronounce it. Those are kind of cute. Let's see if they have a size. Oh yeah, 38. All right. We have a pair of boots. Let's see, American Eagle. And these are, I would say, they need some cleaning, but other than that, they're in good shape. And these are like a small size, size seven, not too bad. And I'll probably wait and list those. All right, these are a Kohan. 
It says they have the Nike Air. Yep. Kohan Nike Air. Put it on the bottom. A pair of loafer type shoes. And those appear to be in pretty good shape. All right, let's keep going. I don't know what these are. Let's see. Turf on your ground. These kind of look like a, kind of remind you of like a golf shoe, but it doesn't have the, I don't know. But honestly, these are all squished up. I may be, if they're, if they're worth anything, I'll try to reshape them, but they look like they need reshaping. But I've never heard of those. Have you guys? Let me show you the turf. And I would assume this has something to do with golf, but I don't know. I have to ask my husband. He's a golfer, but they look like women's. But they just don't have the spikes or anything on the bottom, so who knows? may have something totally not have to do with golf. All right, we have a pair of Nike Reacts sneaker, and these are in really good shape. These look really good. I'll show you the other one. There are the bottoms. There's something, you know, just some dirt. But these look really good. Let's see what size these are. Okay, it has Nike. Usually just like the tag, but that actually has the Nike in there. Mm, fly knit, Nike React Infinity Fly Knit. Designed to keep running, running. But you know what? I did not see a size. And on this one it says 1972. But I do not see a size anywhere, but, and these look to be men's. Who knows? I'll look them up. But, I hear my husband moving around. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Oh, look at this. Wow. Guys, look at those. I don't, the light's not really showing it. Can you see the green coming up the side? What would you call those? That is so pretty. Wow. Let's see. We have a name for these. Olive Fabric Upper PU. Let's see. Oh, Steve Madden. There is, I do see one of the little crystals or beads, whatever you want to call it. My mind's gone blank right now. But those are really pretty, and I don't think that missing one will hurt anybody. Oh, let's look at the other one. Okay. Those are really, really cute. Yeah, there's one or two missing on here, but I'll just note that in the list. And other than that, these appear to be in really good shape, besides, of course, missing. And I don't know if that, I'll just note it, but those are really cute. And what size are these? Can't see. Well, it was probably on the inside. I probably looked right at it. Yep, size 8. Size 8. And it's olive. This feels so good. I really like it. Okay, anyway, not those. But I like those. those are something. Alright, moving on to the next level here. We have another pair of cold hans. They look like a boating shoe. Cold han. And let's see if these are Nike Air. No, I don't see the Nike Air on these. 
But these also are in good condition. So I will definitely list those. What size are these? I think that says a size 10. I'm going to have to look at it. I think that's a 10. I don't have my ring glasses. I always forget to bring those with me. Put them on here when I do it. But, all right. Next, Jeffrey Campbell. All right. And then those are cute. That would go around you know, the front of your ankle. Let's see. And these, well, there's one little bit of peeling right down the heel. But I'll just list that. All righty. Let's look at the other one. And these are size 6.5. That kind of has that boho type look. And this heel looks good. So, I mean, it really wasn't that bad. I'll show it to you right there. It's just a little bit of peeling. But I think those will sell. Jeffrey Campbell. All right. Next. I'm going to get these slippers out of the way. Oh, I thought they were just going to be some basic slippers. But, guys, Uggs. Ugg slippers. All right. And they appear to be in good shape, too. Look at the bottoms. Well, it's a rock stuck up in there, but something right there. But All right. I got to say, so far, I'm happy with this box. Maybe they saw... Dakota flips his videos and says we need to do better. But then again, also, you know, it's just, you know, it's always hit and miss. But she just got several right there in a row that were just not good. And I cannot see a size. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to have to look for that size later. But I would probably say probably about an eight. Let's make sure this other one strap works. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> yeah. A couple of I'm going to go ahead and show you these. I just saw them. And also make sure <clears throat> you check your sizes and stuff too because one of these boxes, I didn't notice it in the video, but it's been a couple of boxes back, but I had two different size shoes in the box. We have like these. Now these, <clears throat> excuse me guys, they're your black point toe. And I have sold, you know, you watch one of my boxes before, I got two pairs in one box. And they both sold. Now these do not have the liner in them. They'll be eight. Make sure they're made in China. Um... These do, that's a small, yeah, size 8. But you can order them from their website, the replacement for these. But I've sold them without them. People still buy them. I just knocked down the price a little bit. <clears throat> size 8. Got these. And these have been, I mean, they still look, I'm see the little tip is kind of coming off. But that's easy, that's an easy fix. Just use a little bit of the shoe glue. And put it back like that but they appear to be in good shape and I was going to keep a pair of these for myself in the last box but the older I get the more I mean they're comfortable but they just don't give me enough support but that's good pair of rockies not in perfect shape but they're in sellable shape I have any of those <clears throat> Okay, 
okay now these I can tell I'm not gonna be able to sell they're cracking and they're pretty worn and I don't even see okay here we go Bessie B-E-S-S-I Bessie but guys these I don't know if the camera is showing it but they are really worn so those I will not sell Let's see if that goes to the point again where I did the average cost of goods. If there's some that you're not can't sell, then of course that's going to up your cost of goods. <clears throat> okay, and the last pair is a pair of boots, and my boots are stacking up because I have quit listing boots until the end of summer. But these just they don't look like anything substantial. But they're not in bad shape. Let's see. I'm trying to see if I see a name. Nope, no name. Let's get down here. Nope, no name. And the inside of these is pretty cracking. So I don't know if I will sell these. <laughs> Yeah, this has some damage on the heel, too. But I'm not seeing a name, and they don't feel like anything substantial. So I might just donate these. <clears throat> All right. I think that's it. Hold on. Let me double check. Yep, that's it, guys. Well, to be from Arizona, I didn't think it was that bad of a box at all. I'm pretty happy with it. So <laughs> I'm happy with that. <clears throat> But anyway, guys, so that's it. So tell me what y'all thought about this box. And until next time, bye.